Right, so in this video I'm going to show well, shaky video. I'm going to show you how to install the synopsis script for XBMC 3.5.3 and onwards. So by default everybody knows what XBMC looks like, or well most of you as well. Uh, when you get into your games library, it comes up the scanning as you normally notice if you have a large collection of games. But when you press the white button or the, and it brings up the context menu, you usually have this list. Now if you have a game save, you have to go to game saves. If you don't and stuff like that, you don't get those options because it's contextual. So right now the script's not installed. The new default.xp has not been installed and the synopsis information and images and stuff like that hasn't been installed for Advent Rising and I'm going to show you how to do that just now. So on the PC um, or Mac or whatever you use uh, you're going to download the synopsis script and xmls.zip so what we want to do is extract that to here and you'll have a synopsis script and xml files or xml's folder inside that folder you have an example game in this case advent rising and it just has the layout so these files would go into the advent rising game directory on your hard drive so in my case it would be f games advent rising and you would place these files inside that folder we have the synopsis script which goes into the scripts folder, the new XBE file, and three XML files. Now this is the skin, the settings menu, and this is the busy dialog or the spinning wheel that you will see when you load the synopsis. So here I have my own setup for Advent Rising. That's just basically the same one that you get with it. It's just got two preview videos. So I can show you that working. So we're what going to want to connect to the Xbox. And since I'm running XBMC, you get into the Q folder or the Q partition. And we're going to transfer over the I'll just do it in this pane now. So we'll transfer over the default.xb overwrite into the scripts folder when that's finished. And we'll drag over the synopsis folder. This will take a few seconds because it's got quite a lot of images. And now we want to transfer over the three XML files. So we're going to skins or skin folder. In my case I'm using the Confluence Light skin. So again, you go into the 720p folder. Now it must be the 720p folder. And you drag them across. And it'll appear up the top. And that's it for XBMC. So I'm going to install the Advent Rising uh, synopsis information. So we're going to Advent Rising. And my games list is just a dummy list because this is just it's the hard drive's not big enough to have all these games. So we're going to want to drag over the resources folder, default.tbn and fanart.jpg. And if you have a preview uh, video, this can be uh, XMV, MP4, WMV, MPG. Now synopsis can be any video format, whatever format. XBMC supports video wise, you just place it in here. It doesn't even need to be named preview, um, it could be named anything. You can even use online streams if you use the .strm extension. So it's just basically a text file with an address to a video online. And if XBMC can play it, it will play it. So, go to drag these over. transfer and that's that done now we go back to the Xbox and 
you're going to want to restart. So in Confluence Lite, you just push right analog stick in and you can pick restart and it will reload XBMC. Now, you'll be presented with a full screen fl fl uh, splash screen. You also no longer have to wait to get into your games library. Um, I disabled the scanning for folders, so basically it thinks every folder is an XBE file, so be careful with that. Um, so now if you press the white button, you now have an option called Synopsis. And if you select it, on first run, you will get this dialog telling you that the font install complete. So basically the Synopsis uses specific sized fonts and stuff like that. And to make it compatible with every skin out there, I just basically add my fonts or my font entries into the font.xml for whatever specific skin you install those free XML files into. So, or whatever skin you're using, basically. So, select OK. And I'll reload the skin, because then that means the fonts are actually activated now. And if we pick Synopsis again, you'll get the spinning dialog, and it will bring you into this. So this is the default screen you will see when you install the Synopsis script in the XML files. You now press the black button, and you can now pick between the formats. So in my case, um, if you have a preview.mp4 or XMV or WMV or MPG file in the Advent Ryzen folder, not inside the resources media folder, but in the actual folder next to the game's default.xb. In my case, I do. So if I select that, go back all the way out, and now if I select Synopsis, I will now play the preview video. Now, what we want is the synopsis view in this case. So you go down and you select synopsis mode. By default, the default layout is selected. The default layout is this. So what this does is this parses the default.xml and gathers information and displays it on screen for you. It also uses the poster image, a banner image and a fan art image which is in the background behind this box here and behind it there's a fan art image that you can see just through it. Screenshot folder with screenshots. Every couple of seconds it will go to another image. And the preview video. Now if you highlight the control pad up the top as you can see here, if you press the A button it will launch the game. When on the video if you press the A button, it will restart the video. Now, what it looks like, I find a game that doesn't have any synopsis information. This is what you'll see if you don't have any synopsis information. Obviously, every single game I've got has a resources folder, so you would have, uh, you wouldn't have an image there. And I'll just quickly show you that actually with Advent Rising. So if I rename the resources folder, this is what you would see if basically for any game that doesn't have a resources folder with the specific assets and XML file. Tells you there could not find. It gives you the path to the default.xml file. No video. Now, there's an alternative view as well, which if you enable, you cannot enable the default view when the alternative layout is enabled. So what you do is you just disable the alternative layout and it will always go back to the default layout. So the alternative layout looks like this. And I will just enable the synopsis folder again, or the resources folder. So, 
Some people prefer the new, the old layout. That's a bug on me to fix that. The text shouldn't show up straight away. Um, but as you can see, this is what the, the, the old one looked like. And you press the A button to play the preview video. The A button to stop the preview video. Now, you can auto-play the preview video with the alternative layout only. And when you load the window, it will automatically play the video. And if you press the A button, it will restart the preview video. And that's the synopsis script integrated into XBMC for Xbox. Now with Confluence Lite, by default it will play the, the video in the background. Um, you go to settings, skin and background and you disable the background thing. You could set it up by editing the the background includes file that comes with Confluence Lite and basically just make it non-visible when the window 3000 is activated that way it won't play in the background and you don't you can have it for everything else but anyway that's the synops synopsis script for XBMC for Xbox